I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on pipes and cisterns. Here we are taking three taps, an excellent example. Such questions have been seen in previous test papers. Two taps A and B can fill a tank in 15 hours and 12 hours respectively. That means separately, alone, A takes 15 hours and B takes 12 hours. The third tap C is able to empty in four hours. If these taps are open at 12 noon, 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. respectively, find the time at which the tank will be empty, right? So I'd like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions, right? So this is the situation here. We have a tank and which is fitted with three taps, right? So this is to empty, right? Right at the bottom. And there on the top, we have two to fill. Okay, so let's call them A and B. And this one, C. So what we're given here is that the taps A and B can fill a tank in 15 hours and 12 hours respectively. That means alone. So, so the tap A will fill, let's say positive, in 15 hours so the complete tank is filled in 15 hours as far as the tap b is concerned it takes 12 hours it is more efficient it is faster okay and c is a drain pipe you can see right so it drains it is able to empty the whole tank in four hours so minus for four hours is it clear to you now what we can do here is that we don't know what the capacity is. So let's take LCM to find a capacity, right? So let's find what is the LCM of this. This LCM will give us capacity to work with. So 15, 12, and four, 60 is a good number to take. Let's say 60 liters, okay? Now let's find the rate. We also say rate as efficiency. It is basically liters per, in our case, hours. Is that clear? So if the tank is 60 liters where it is full, let's say 60 liters, in that case, tab A takes 15 hours. So that really means that in one hour, it can fill 4 liters, right? So 4 times 15 is 60. 60 divided by 15 is 4. So it is 4 liters per hour. That is the rate. For tab B, if you divide 60 by 12, you get 5 liters, right? So you get 5 liters per hour, and these are positive numbers. As far as C is concerned, it drains away. So dividing by 4, it gives half and half, which is 15, right? So it is 15 uh, liters per hour and is draining, correct? Now in the question, we are starting the whole operation at 12 noon, right? So let's think like this. So this is 12 noon and then at 1 p.m. things change and then further they change at 3 p.m., right? So what is happening here? At 12 noon, tap A is open, right? If these taps are opened at 12 noon, 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. respectively, that is one by one, right? So, so A is open. So at one, A is already open. We open up B also, right? At 3 p.m., C is also open. So all three are open here. Now, if A works for 12 to 1 p.m., in that case, up to this time, it will fill in one hour, four liters, right? So tap A, which works for one hour, right? So this is one hour, correct? So it gives you four times one, that is four liters. Now at this stage, A and B both are working. And they work for two hours, from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., right? They work for two hours, right? So A and B together, if they work together, 
in one hour they will put in nine liters per hour this is for a plus b is that okay so what we get here is 9 times 2 18 liters so to begin with we have 4 liter plus 18 liters right so you can think like this when we started at 12 noon and at 1 this is 1 pm we have got 4 liters and then at 3 p.m. we got 18 more right so we got 18 more so we got 4 plus 18 22 liters some 18 more plus 18 liters this is happening at 3 p.m. perfect so you can see from here that we have in all 18 4 plus 18 which is 22 liters and now at 3 p.m. C is also opened when you open up tab C then what happens well at this stage the total rate is 5 plus 4 9 take away 15 so when you take away 15 this is 4 plus 5 minus 15 right so the rate here is actually equal to minus 6 liters per hour so nothing is added up but all this 22 liters is drained and that is drained at the rate of 6 liters per hour is that clear to you so that is the situation so how much time will that take right let's figure this out so time taken to drain will be we have 22 liters right so we'll divide 22 liters by 6 liters per hour is it clear so that is the time taken so 6 liters will we can divide 11 by 3 which is uh, 3 times 3 is 9 9 to over 3 hours right or we get 3 hours and 2 by 3 is uh, 60 divided by 3 is uh, uh, 60 divided with 20 times 2 is 40 40 minutes is it okay so 3 hours 40 minutes so after 3 p.m. it takes 3 hours 40 minutes to drain right so now the question here is find the time find the time at which the tank will be empty right so it will be empty at what time this is what we need to find so at 3 p.m. we started raining and took 3 hours and 40 minutes so it is 3 p.m. plus 3 hours and 40 minutes so that means 6 40 p.m. so at 6 40 p.m. the whole tank will be empty is that clear to you correct so that is how we are going to solve it. So the idea here is that tab A works for from 12 to 3, right? Do you see that 12 to 3, tab A works. That means 3 hours. It contributes at the rate of 4 liters per hour, 12 liters, correct? Tab B works for 2 hours from 1 to 3. So it contributes 5 times 2, 10 liters. And total we have 22 liters and this 22 liters is drained effectively at 6 liters per hour when all three are on so divided by 6 gives us the time required to drain it after 3 p.m. so after 3 p.m. it further takes 3 hours and 40 minutes to drain and so the tank will be empty at 6 hours 40 minutes is that clear so that is how such questions can be solved. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.